There's a, a huge difference between monetary and fiscal policy. Monetary policy is where the government or, or the central bank tries to stimulate the economy by reducing interest rates. It makes the cost of borrowing less, it makes the cost of servicing existing mortgages less, and therefore, theoretically, it puts more money in people's pockets. What it also does is it makes assets more valuable because things that pay a decent dividend yield when the base rate is very low are worth more to somebody else to buy. So QE is very good for those that hold large amounts of existing assets. The problem with monetary policy is that if it, uh, if it doesn't work, then what happens is the extra spending that is in people's pockets because they're paying less on interest rates is simply saved. So it's what Keynes would call a very high liquidity preference. And if people just save their windfall, it has no effect on demand within the economy. Fiscal policy works by either cutting taxes to put more money into consumers' pockets in the hope that they will spend it. However, unless they believe the tax cut is permanent, they won't necessarily spend it and they will then save it for the rainy day that they think is coming down, down the line. And if all that fails, the final way, which absolutely guarantees additional demand in the economy, which Keynes would always advocate when you've got to give the economy a shot to get it going, is that the government steps in and does something. And that type of fiscal policy is where the government starts spending on things. And governments both sides of the Atlantic are about to start doing that. And that's why Theresa May's government has been talking a lot about infrastructure spending in recent, in recent weeks, because with infrastructure spending, you guarantee that you will increase demand in the economy.